Hey what's up everyone, in today's video I am going to show you how you can install Swift streams on your Amazon Fire Stick device step by step. And the best part, you don't need to waste time digging through a shady website to find a working download link. I have already added Swift streams on my custom Fire Stick app store on Unlinked, which means you can install it in just a couple of clicks, safe, fast and hassle free. So in this video, I will walk you step by step through the entire process of installing Swift streams on your Amazon Fire Stick device, setting it up for the first time, and I will even share some tips to get the most out of it. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is move left, slide down and click on the search bar. Then you will have a little keypad on your file string, allowing you to search any app that is available on the Amazon App Store. Today we are here for the downloader app, so let's type the downloader. Ok after typing one word, search list appears, so we don't need to type entire spelling. Slide down and click on the downloader. Next click on this bright orange color downloader icon. Now here it will give us the ability to download and install this app on our fire stick device. So let's click on the download button by pressing remote center button. It will take a few seconds depending on your internet connection. Alright, once the app is downloaded, we need to give download a permission to download and install apps that are not available on the Amazon App Store. And the easiest way to do that, hold down your remote home button, then move right and click on settings. Move right, click on my fire TV. And guys, here you can see that I have developer option on my fire stick screen. If you don't see this option on your fire TV, don't worry, it's super easy to get. All you need to do is click on about. And here, click on your fire stick name about 7 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 7. After that, you will have a little pop up below asking your developer option enabled. In my case, you can see that asking me no need, you already have a developer option. So you do have a developer option. Now hit the remote back button, slide down and click on the developer options. Now here, we need to turn on apps from unknown sources. If you are using Fire Stick 4K Max, your menu might look little different. In that case, just turn on Downloader app instead. As you see, I'm using Fire Stick 4K Max, so I will do that. But if you are using Fire Stick 4K, then you have to turn on both ADB debugging and developer options. So let's turn on apps from unknown sources. Turn it on. Now we need to launch our Downloader app that we have installed on our device. And the easiest way to do that, hold down your remote home button just like before. And at this time, we are going to select apps. Here you will find all the applications that you have installed on your device. And the last app that we have installed, always go to the bottom of the list. So slide down and click on the downloader app. First I am launching this app. It will ask you know, some permissions, so click hello and then hit ok. Guys, this is the home screen of the downloader app. Here you will see some menus on the left side and a search bar on the home screen. So let's click on the search bar by pressing remote center button two times, once, twice. Then you have a keyboard on your screen, allowing you to visit any website that you are looking for and download app that you want to download on your Amazon Fire Stick device. Today we are here for the unlinked, so let's tap the URL link of the unlinked app. After tapping URL link, click on the go button and you will see a page will appear. Scroll down till you find Android. Now click on it and you will connect to the server and your downloading will be start. Now quick reminder, apps like this stream free content, I always suggest using a reliable VPN. Personally, I recommend a NordVPN. It keeps your activity private, protect your data and prevent your ISP from tracking or throttling your connection. Plus, it works smoothly on Fire Stick, Android and other devices. I have got an exclusive link for the NordVPN in this video's description. So make sure to check that out if you want to save and secure streaming. Now let's move on a app. When the downloading is complete, a page will appear asking you to install the app. Now move right, click on install. Once the installation is finished, click on done button and delete backup files to free space. Select delete file installation files and confirm delete. Ok now for this again, first go to settings on your fire stick, then click on my fire tv. After that, open developer option and go to unknown sources. Here you will see our app unlinked is off, 
make sure it's turned on. Now come back to your app gallery and open Unlink the App Store. So let's click on the add a new library by pressing remote center button two times. Once, twice. Now you just have to enter a very simple code. Hit enter and you will see a collection of apps that you can not normally find on the Amazon App Store. In this video, we are going to download Swift Streams. So just scroll down until you see the app. Click on it and your downloading will be started right away. It's really that simple and easy way to install any app on your Fire Stick device. That's it guys, we have get the app. Now hold down your remote home button and select apps just like before. As I told you before, here you will find all the application that you have installed on your device. And the last app that we have installed, always go to the bottom of the list. So guys, launch this app, start watching your favorite movies, sports, live TV shows on your Amazon Fire Stick device. And if you want to support this channel, please click on subscribe button, like button and share with your friends. So they can enjoy all free entertainments too. Thanks for watching, I will meet you in the next video.